my video where I'm going to try to help you with all the loops that you can have if you want to install a Japanese watchlet in your home outside of Japan. First of all, it's not so hard as people think. Maybe you're scared because of the voltage that is here in Europe is different than in Japan, or maybe with the water connectors that are different, but it's not so hard as people think, and I'm going to try to solve all your doubts here with this video and try to make you buy a watch Japanese watch because it's one of the best things that you can get in your life. So let's start with this video. Thank you for watching. One of the first things I'm going to show you is the converter. For example, I am living in Europe and it's impossible to use just with, a, with an adapter to the connector of the, top of the watch LED. So you need one of these to be able to use it correctly. As you can see, this is a converter that the output is 110 volts. So you, can, you don't have any problem if you can get one of these. Next one, the water connector. The water connector is not the same that we are using here in Europe and the water that is used in Japan. So, what do we have to do here? We have to buy some adapters to be able to use the Japanese washlet in our toilet. First of all, we need to buy an adapter that is here, as you can see here, between the water uh, connector here and the washlet connector. There's here, and it's an adapter that costs around 1 euro and it's really easy to find and it fits really well. After that, what we need is to get a cable that has both the connector for the washlet, that it's really easy to find, and the connector for your toilet. Why? Because if we don't do like this, the washlet is not going to be able to get the water necessary to use it for, you know, and you cannot use the toilet. So it's really important to get both adapters to be able to continue using your toilet without any problem. So as you can see right now, the washlet is set up with the toilet and you can see there's, it's connected and it's fully operational. So, the next we have to see is how to plug the washlet with the toilet. So, let's see it. And here is the last part of this video. As you can see, we have here the adapter for the washlet, but there's something rare, right? What is the reason to have the adapter like this? Well, it's easy. The toilet has two holes, but the holes of the adapter doesn't match with this uh, toilet. So, what I had to think something to be able to use it here. And first of all, I thought to put a cable inside the hole and the adapter to be able to fix it. But it didn't fit so much and the toilet was moving when you were sit there. So, I had to think something more and I decided to use a strong adhesive tape use the half in the adapter and use the half in the toilet then the result is this that as you can see if I touch it doesn't move and it makes fix the adapter in the toilet and the washer too it works really nice so here we are as you can see the washer that fits completely to the toilet, no problems, it's possible to use without any kind of problem. And that's all. If you have any kind of question, I will be happy to answer your questions. You can leave a comment here in the video, or you can send me a message. I will be really happy to help you if you have any doubts about where to buy a Japanese watch that, or if you have any problem when you're trying to install your own in your home. And that's all. Thank you so much and see you soon. Today where I'm going to try to help you with all the loops that you can have. If you want to install a Japanese watchlet in your home outside of Japan. First of all, it's not so hard as people think. Maybe you're scared because 
of the voltage that is here in Europe is different than in Japan or maybe with the water connectors that are different but it's not so hard as people think and I'm going to try to